Okay, so if I start with something, put it together, and then I'll show you how I did it. Here's the beat. Okay, so we've got the Boss RC505 loop station designed for beatboxers. Obviously, you can use it any way you want. Um, today, I'm going to be using it through uh, Logic. I've got a controller here that are playing some samples. So that's going recorded into here, and then obviously my vocal mic. Uh, so if we start this side, we've got five channels to run through. Uh, this is your first channel section here. Um, so with channel one, it's as easy as pressing the button to start it and pressing the button to play it back. Um, whilst it's playing back, uh, it's going to be recording on top of that, so you can change all those settings in here. Um, but if I give you an example, we'll put a beat down, um, and we'll go from there. Okay, so we've got our beat on channel one. Uh, to stop it, um, you hit the stop button here. To start it again, you've got play, and stop it. So you can repeat it like that. Another way to bring it out, you've got your fader switch here. So that's another way to control it. Uh, okay, so now we've got the beat on channel one. We'll add something on top. We'll add some, uh, add some, add some hats and just uh, a little bit of uh, a little bit more movement in the beat on channel two. Okay, so we've got a bit more on there now, so we've got some uh, movement with this one. We've got the main beat on uh, channel one. So we can drop those out. We can use the fader to bring them in and out. Like that. Okay, we'll add, a, we'll add a bass line on top of there. Uh, let's get some bass line. Okay. Okay, so we've got some bass. Uh, let's add some uh, horn samples on top of that. We'll add some keys on top of that as well. Okay, so we've got all our we've got our beat. Some movement in the beat, so some hi hats and some interesting sounds um, on channel two. On channel three, we've got the beat, uh, the bass line, sorry, on there. Uh, on four, we've got uh, some uh, horn samples and uh, the keys, some, some, some organ on uh, channel four. So uh, we'll add some vocals on the on number five just to give it a little bit more sound. Like
you've got, you've got also on this one, you've got all kind of input effects. So you've got your, your main filter. That's your filter sound. So take out the yeah. Uh, we've got phaser. That's really nice, actually, when you're um, if you're singing uh, through um, through using some effects. Uh, phaser's really nice. Just a little bit of it um, gives it that sort of fuller sound. Um, flanger. Uh, that's also quite a nice one, um, particularly if you're doing some beatboxy sounds or so, 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 with, with some sort of hi hats and um, then a tiny bit of that is quite nice. So if you want to change any of these effects or adapt them, once you've gone through your effects, let's uh, if we use the delay as an example, so we'll take the delay, so we've got the delay, so on, there, delay, on, there. delay on there, delay on there. Um, if you want to change that and change the settings of it, over here you've got your parameters uh, left and right. So if you hit the uh, right parameter on delay, 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 it takes you to the time of how long it takes for that delay to cut in. So you can change, so you can that, change, that, change that, make it shorter. Make it shorter. 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 So, so that's, that's shorter. shorter. We'll turn, turn, it, up, turn it, up, it up, make it longer, make it longer, longer. So we're going to set it. So we're going to set the time in. So, 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 so it syncs it with the BPM. But 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 but. Yeah yeah yeah. So that's all in so time. That's all in so time. That's all in time. Uh, if we click, uh, if we click, if we click right click. again, um, this gives us the feedback. So how many times it delays back? So it's on so twenty. It's on twenty. 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 We're gonna turn it up. 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 But 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 but. So that's double that. That's double that. That's double that. That's double that. Forty. 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 So that's just with delay. So you've got all kinds of parameters um, that you can change with all the different effects. So over here, you've got your, your track effects as well. Um, you can also change the parameters in those. So with your filter, um, you've got your high pass, your low pass, uh, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so the filter switch, obviously you can change the parameters on the filter. Um, what you want to do is uh, select your filter. Um, in the parameters, once you've selected filter, in the parameters you go through, um, it's set to um, uh, to affect the cutoff. Um, Collect uh, by whichever you select in the rate setting, so you can set it by measurement, you can set it by BPM, or you can set it by um, uh, a timing setting. Um, if you want to turn those off and you want to affect it manually, um, if you uh, ignore the the filter rate, you go straight past that to depth and set that to zero, um, then that rate isn't going to be constantly playing through, and you can just simply just control it by this bit, um, and then that's going to affect the cut off. Uh, so, for example, so you've got all control over it. Also, while the filter's on, um, you can talk over it. It's not going to affect the filter's not going to affect the uh, the sound going into the inch, the, the RC five oh five. It's only going to be on the track effect, so the already recorded sound. Uh, you've got your uh, input levels, so it's worth setting these when you're when you're setting up um, to set up um, how loud you've got all your sounds going in, um, and get everything balanced um, before you start recording. So you've got your uh, sound for your um, uh, sound for the mic goes into this one. Um, so you set that, find out where your peak is, and drop it just down below before the peak. Um, so obviously it's not going to twitch. Um, and then you've got your input level, so all the sounds going into this one here. Um, the auxiliary, um, it doesn't have a, uh, a level for the auxiliary, so that's obviously going to be set on whatever you're plugging into it, rather than uh, a switch here. And then you've got your main output volume level. Sound.